Really? Um, oh, we're watching it at this show. This, right? this movie's messed up. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know what's cool? I, I was browsing the, the the web and I saw somebody some website interviewing uh, Robert Zemeckis. Okay. You know, uh, big proponent of, like motion capture and all that. You, you know. Oh, uh, he like jerks off to that stuff it. anymore. Like, oh, I don't want supposedly, Tom Hanks to play every role. He's so talented. Supposedly, he's been daydreaming about doing a little bit of a Roger Rabbit sequel. Would you get behind that? No. No. <laughs> no. No. I, what? What? What do you? What more do you need to do with Roger Rabbit? I don't understand. <laughs> Like what? It's done. It was already. Why don't we re-release it's a, it's it in a theaters? Great, it's a phenomenal movie. Yeah. But you know, there's more characters out now that you can play with. You, you can have a mix of those 2D classic 2D characters and your some favorite of the 3D CG ones. ones. Yeah, your favorite CG ones. You can have Buzz Lightyear interact with, uh, you know, Steamboat Willie. What do you think? I get. I I guess. I don't know. In a it whole just, new madcap mystery adventure. Because Zemeckis isn't going to direct it. He's going to produce it. It's going to bring in some new jerk off to do it. The script's going to be like pulled out of nowhere and it's just going to be trash. <laughs> okay. It's going to shit on okay. the, it already did something great. Why why go back there again? Um unless you have a killer story. Right. Unless you have something you're like I woke up in the middle of my sleep and I was like we need to revisit Roger Rabbit because I missed something the first time out. Right. Like but, just to capitalize on something that pre-exists because there's a fan base. It's us. Everyone is raping us. They can take through our entire lives <laughs> between like cereal, sugar, crappy foods, and movies. They keep recycling shit and giving it to us, and they know we'll eat it up because we have allegiance to dumb shit. Right? Am I right? That's Geekscape for you. Yeah. That, that's write us. Down, write down everyone is raping wow. us. Wow. Everyone is raping us. Wow. No, they, <laughs> I mean, they the gave us cartoons. Our parents laughed at us for the cartoons we watched. Right. It was all action figure tie ins. He Man was about as gay as a $2 bill. <laughs> there was no. I mean. <laughs> Everything was created. As, they were mocking us. The people that made He-Man mocked us. They were like, kids are going to want to be this guy, and he is a gay man. He's tan and blonde, and he wears pink pants when he's not fighting in his dominatrix gear. And we're watching this shit like, oh, this is great. And our fathers were like, my son is such a clown. He doesn't even realize the joke is on him. The joke is on was on our generation, and everything was the sell us stuff. So that's why we're constantly buying. Bull and like, you want to make it again? You want to make it again? I'll be there first in line. I remember when I had the spoon that with the, in the shape of him, and I ate the cereal. <laughs> God damn it! Rack focused to your father standing in the distance behind you in the kitchen, just going, "Fucking loser!" Yeah, like look at him playing. My with son's God. a disgrace. Playing with a tan blonde barbarian and a dominatrix. Okay, like, ah, oh, I'm safe today. Go back and watch them. <laughs> he went on all fours trying to open up a fucking tank door. Like, what the hell is... My friend Ryan was like, believe me, Nick. It's not what you thought of. Like, yeah, He-Man, like, kind of fucked shit up. It's awesome, right? No, it's not awesome at all. <laughs>